feel strongly about an issue, there is no way that I am going to squish, there's no way that I am going to try to um, modify so that I can make someone else happy if I know the principle is right. So I do want to take this as the committee woman. I want to take the flavor of our state, our party, our platform. I want to take our motivation and use that as uh, the impetus to keep us moving at the national level. Uh, you know, here in Idaho, we are so blessed. All of you know that. Um, and we are seen as a refuge for so many people from other areas, and I just love that about Idaho. I want us to stay that way. So, Esto Perpetua Idaho, Esto Perpetua, the Republican Party, and our stand on principles, and uh, may Idaho always be our place of refuge. And I hope you will vote for me. Uh, thank you, Marlene. Nominating, seconding, and candidate speeches for Cindy Sidaway. My name is Trent Clark of Caribou County, and it is not only my great honor to nominate Cindy Sidaway, but to take a minute or two here to share with you why Cindy is exactly the person we need on the state or the, on the national committee at this moment in time. We here in our state central committee deal with trying to rein in the power of government in Idaho. We also have the voice to send delegates to the National Republican Committee to try to rein in the federal government. I know of very few people who have experience taking on the federal government like Cindy Sidaway. She not only does that because she lives on a ranch out in an area where she's surrounded by the federal government and she has to deal with them on a nearly daily basis and she deals with them quite well, I would point out. But she also was elected by her National Industry Association, a livestock organization that represents all of the sheep producers across the nation and she was their national spokesperson going back to Washington, D.C. to address grievances with the federal government there, and she did it extremely well. I encourage you to Google Cindy Sidaway, and you will find nearly a thousand references in the national media to where she was telling the federal government what to do with their wolves. <laughs> and, and, and a host of other things the federal government could do to be more friendly to production agriculture in the United States. My experience with Cindy goes back a long time, and I owe her a personal debt of gratitude. There was a point in time that I was asked by the governor to step up and defend an agreement on nuclear waste. And I thought, couldn't she ask me to defend some other agreement? But no, it was a, an agreement on nuclear waste. What it was, was the governor of Idaho decided he couldn't trust the federal government. And he needed to have the federal government sign on the dotted line an agreement that was enforceable in court. And the environmentalists would prefer we gave up that agreement and wave signs at the trucks as they go by. We needed a spokesperson who would look into the camera and tell Idahoans why we couldn't just trust the federal government. We needed a solid agreement that we could enforce. And we thought of someone who lived right next door to the Idaho National Lab, Cindy Sidaway. I asked her if she would come, and she was masterful. She looked right into the cameras, she spoke to the people of Idaho, and she said, here is why we need to hold them accountable. And we reversed, at the beginning of that campaign, 68% were in voting with the environmentalists. At the end of that campaign, nearly 70% voted to keep Idaho in the position of controlling our own natural resources. Everyone who knows Cindy knows that she is honest, she is straightforward, she is courageous, very persuasive, and perhaps most of all, she is tenacious. As a person who's dealt with the Republican National Committee, that last attribute, being tenacious, is what Idaho needs, because the rest of the nation doesn't have what we have, 
So we need a tenacious national committee woman. I ask you to vote for Cindy Sidaway. I'm Brent Hill. I'm a delegate from District 34, and it's my honor to second the nomination of Cindy Sidaway as our national committee woman. You know, I was in Boise Thursday taking care of some business at the Capitol, and all over the Capitol were all these teenage girls, because it was girl state. And they were just all over the Capitol. A group of them stopped by my office to visit, and I asked them, as I often do, what was the best thing about girl state? What did you like the best? And they went off on, you should have heard this lady that spoke to us today. She was, like, awesome. Which is not a term I use that much, you know, but, uh, but I knew what they meant. And so I wasn't surprised when I found out that that was Cindy Sidaway, that she spoke to these young girls and inspired them and uh, helped them to understand the role of government. Uh, you know, you should have seen Cindy when she was president of the National Association of the Sheep Industry. I mean, here was this cheerful, excited lady with all of these crusty sheepmen and, and men and women, some of them were crusty too. But, uh, <laughs> but she earned their respect and their appreciation. And they were glad to have her as their leader. Whether a lobbyist for the sheep industry in Washington, D.C., or as someone that works with groups around the community to make our communities better. Cindy listens. And then she acts. And she acts in accordance with the principles that we as Republicans love. I ask for your support with Cindy Sidaway. Thank you. It's only that much taller than I am. I stand before you today. I'm Stan Clark from Madison County. Well, I live in Madison County. I've always been from Ashton. But, but I stand here today and I was reading Cindy's card and says she's been involved in the Republican Party for 40 years. I've known Cindy ever since she got involved in the Republican Party politics. But I, did, I learned early on in my political life that one person if you set your mind to it, can make a difference. It takes a lot of work. But Cindy Sidaway is the type of person who one person can make a difference. Now, I've got so used to Cindy being the uh, state committee woman that I kind of like to keep that tradition alive here to, to today with Cindy Sidaway and just change the last name. I think she will pick up where Cindy Moyle left off and carry on and represent us in Idaho to where the nation will know that Idaho is the epitome of republicanism. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. It was, it's it is humbling to have such kind words spoken from such men that I honor and I respect so much. You know, it's just, um, it's humbling also to have my name even suggested for this position. Um, I've been in awe of Cindy Moyle for many, many years and the great job that she has done. And I know how difficult it's going to be to fill her shoes and to fill her leadership. But I will do my very best if you will give me your your vote to try to do that. Uh, I know she's been a remarkable woman. I've been very lucky to have been exposed nationally and internationally with some issues, and I've enjoyed working, but I know that the true values are at home with your community, with your family, and I'd like to be involved in home, but I love to take those traditional values that, we, that are so sacred to us and take that work to Washington, D.C. I would appreciate your support and thank you so much for being here and participating in this political process. Thank you.
Thank you, Cindy. Okay, so the same drill. Uh, when the voting's done, we're going to need a couple of representatives for uh, the two candidates to come forward to observe the vote count. Uh, the ballots are going to be handed out, so same worked better last time. So, Chairman, uh, receive the ballots from the staff. Pass them out to your delegates. Delegates vote. Please hold it once or twice. Give it back to your chairman. Okay. Now, now we're being told to please only fold your ballot once. It really takes that much longer to count 500 plus ballots if it's folded more than once. So it's still secret. Please fold it only once. Get them back to your chairman, and chairman will bring them forward to the youth delegates. Place them in the cans.
Our first vice chair is Mike Matthews. Please get your balance to your chair. 